Today we will explain Photoshop Workspace and Image Viewing Operations. First we open Photoshop. Open the picture. Let's see. This is the working interface of Photoshop. Then at the top is the menu bar. Most of Photoshop's functions can be found in the menu bar. Left toolbar. It is a tool for various basic functions of Photoshop. Then the second line is the property bar of various tools in Photoshop. Each tool in Photoshop can find the corresponding property in the property bar. Look right here. This is the history panel. If we do many operations, then each operation will have a corresponding option in the history panel. We can always go back to the original working state. Next to the history panel is the color panel. And then this is the swatches panel. This is the gradient panel. This is the pattern panel. And then this is the properties panel. This property panel is mainly for the properties of open files. This is the adjustment panel. There are various options for adjusting the image. This is the layers panel. Channel panel. Path panel. Let's open some pictures. The pictures we are currently opening. Every picture we can drag in. Drag it out to float above the workspace. You can also drag back. Each file is a tab. Then we click on this window. Work area. These mainly refer to the style of the entire operation panel. For example, this is the movement. This style is painting. This style is photography. However, as our beginners, just use this default. Of the following, we can drag out each panel. Let it float above the workspace. Then here you can also turn it off. If the layers panel is now closed, how do I find it? In the window menu. Click on the layer and he will come out. Then you can drag it back. I can't find the channel panel. There is another way. It's here. Reset. Then all panels are restored to their default state. As a beginner. When you can't find the panel you need, you can restore the default by this. Return to original panel. 
This is the arrangement. First, let's see. All images are now arranged in tabs. Click this. All vertical collages. All horizontal collages. Duplex horizontal collage. Duplex vertical collage. Triple horizontal collage. Triptych vertical collage. Quadruple. Sextuple. We can float all windows. Can also revert to full vertical tiling. Next, let's talk about matching scaling. Use 6. Then open the window menu. We hold down CTRL++. Enlarge. Then click on Window, Arrange. Match Scaling. All views will match the magnification of the first one. Then hold down the space bar. The position of a view to move. Then click Window, Arrange, Match Position. All of it will match the same position. Then press R. Rotate the first view. Select Match Rotation. All views match the rotation of the first view. Then this. Match All. It will match the rotation, displacement, and magnification. Now we click on this picture. Press the R key. Option to rotate all windows. Click to reset view. All these images have been restored. At this point, I rotate the first view. All views are automatically rotated according to my actions. Click again to match all. It can be seen that they have the same rotation angle. Then we restore it. Close other views. Keep only this one. Let's put it in the middle of the screen. Click here to create a new window. You can see that the two tabs are the same. We shrink this window. Let it float on the workspace. Set aside. Then we on this view. Make change. For example, if I make a fill, this is the fill effect. Also see the effect on this small view. This small view is equivalent to a preview image. Facilitate our operation. Okay. This is today's lesson. Goodbye.